today I'm going to be sharing with you five DIYs for your coffee bar. The theme is country, cottage, fall, and I am super excited to share this with you guys. Welcome to Freckled Mom DIY. My name is Devin. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, hey! This is an open playlist, room by room, that I am hosting, and this month my co-host is Leonette from DIY Beauty on Purpose. I am super excited. We have a lot of talent today. We have a lot of amazing content creators who are ready to share their cottage or country fall DIYs. I had gotten this frame from a thrift store clean out that we had done. So I got it for free and I am just cleaning up the back of this and taking it apart. If you haven't seen that video, I will put it down in the comments. So I am just painting this in my Waverly Nimbus and I'm making some marks here and I'm going to make it look like a faux shiplap. And this is a charcoal pencil and so it's a little darker and from now on I will never do faux shiplap without this pencil. This pencil was so nice. I used my finger and I smudged the lines and then when I had extra on my finger I went and did it in between just to give it a little something something. I went to my Cameo and I printed this out. Now this was a pre-made stencil from the Silhouette store and I just put it on, peeled it up. I couldn't get the whole thing on one transfer for whatever reason and so I did it afterwards and I lined it up really good and it is so adorable, so sweet, so quick this is going into my coffee bar so i am not a big pumpkin kind of person so i love maple flavored coffee so this is all like a maple themed and that kind of falls into like a cottage theme so i'm just hot gluing the back right back in and that is it for this diy guys this is so simple so quick how adorable is this? Oh my goodness. This is my new coffee bar in my new kitchen. So now I can transfer out this picture for whatever the season is. And I just cannot wait for every season. But right now I am totally in love with this maple theme I'm going with. Here it is. This is so cute. I love this garland. It's kind of... Um, I don't know it's kind of weird to explain it to you guys so you have to watch what I'm doing but here are all my supplies I have some um, leaves I'm not sure where those came from so here is a dowel okay so let's go through this and then I have some twine I'm hot gluing the twine it's a long piece of twine and I'm hot gluing the middle of it to the dowel now I want it to hang but I wanted it to be sturdy you know what I mean I didn't want anything moving around because it is a high traffic area you know I like my coffee so here is a party streamer and I am now wrapping it around the dowel and the twine so you can't see the twine if that makes sense. And then I'm just going to hot glue it at the end just to seal it, finish it off so it doesn't unravel. And now I'm going to start on the garland. So this is just some buffalo check ribbon I had from, uh, I think I got at BJ's last year. And I'm just cutting it into strips and I do have two strips that are skinnier than the rest. Those two skinny ones are going at the end. So I'm just going to tie a knot. No, nothing special, just a knot guys. And then I have my wooden beads here and everything I'm using, if I have links, is down in my Amazon store or down in the description. So I'm taking these beads and I'm just putting a whole bunch on and then I'm going to space them out. I'm gonna push them a little bit and add my ribbon wherever I feel I need to. So I did a ball, a ribbon, a ball, a ribbon, a ball, a ribbon. And you're gonna see, we're gonna keep going. I'm not sure how many I used. It's really up to you how long you want your garland. I made it just long enough to fit on those shelves. Now those shelves are made by my father-in-law, which I do have a video coming up about my new kitchen. So stay tuned for that, maybe in a couple weeks we get it finished we still need a sink so right here we are hot gluing the balls now so i said we had done ball 
ribbon ball and then I space them out now so you want a little bit of room in between the wooden balls because you'll see <laughs> so we are just tying it to the dowel so it'll hang from the dowel it'll be like a little swagger so here are my leaves these are from the Dollar Tree and I'm hot gluing them right to the twine they do have clips on the back but again this is a high traffic area I didn't want them falling off or moving especially if the cat was to see them so I definitely wanted them to be sturdy and not move but I wanted them to have that look like they were hanging and I love these colors they came in separate packs so I I think I had two, three packs and I had an extra leaf somewhere. So I'm not sure where I got these. Well, I got them at a thrift store, but I'm not sure where they originally came from. Maybe Hobby Lobby. And they had a little hook on them, so I slid them onto my dowel. We're kind of backwards here, if you guys can see that. And then I'm hot gluing these leaves right to the dowel. And again, so nothing falls off, nothing moves. It looks like it's just hanging there, but everything is pretty secure here. So now I just go through and I hot glue right on the top just to add a little bit more security. And I just love how this came out. You guys could do whatever color you wanted, whatever ribbon you wanted. I never hung a garland or anything from these shelves. Again, they're brand new. So I just took some command hooks and I laid them on their back. So that way I could hang the garland from it, if that makes sense. But you can see what I'm doing here. And how adorable is that? Oh my goodness. I just love this little garland. It fits in perfectly with my cottage country fall theme it fits in perfect with my maple theme i just think this is so sweet i hope you're enjoying this video and if you are please give this video a big thumbs up we are renovating our 1925 year old cottage and we are doing it room by room. We are having so much fun. We're doing some DIYs and I also do a lot of home decor and gifts, thrift flipping, Dollar Tree crafts. If you like these kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. To my current subscribers, thank you. You guys know how much I appreciate you. I love reading your comments and I love getting to know you. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook as Freckled Mom. Don't forget, this is an open playlist. We'll be hosting this every month, except for October. So our next one is going to be November 4th. This month's co-host is my friend Leah Nepp from DIY Beauty on Purpose. And if you guys haven't met her or seen her DIYs, she's pretty amazing. She uses power tools and she's not afraid to tackle big furniture pieces and little crafts. And I just love everything. Everything is just super adorable and she's pretty amazing. So go ahead, check out her channel. Her link is down in my description as well as the playlist. If you're a crafter and you wanna be part of this, go ahead and send me a message privately through Instagram or Facebook and I will add you to the chat and I'll send you the rules. So I hope you guys are enjoying this playlist and I can't wait to see what everyone is creating today. So let's jump back into the video now. This is super easy. This is just a block from the Dollar Tree and I'm using the little tiny calendars from the Dollar Tree calendars that are on the back page and it fit perfect. And this is super cute. It doesn't have to be just for a coffee bar. It could be for anything. And I'm just cutting them down to size so they fit on the block. Now I wanted the block white to match the paper so I just painted this with my linen chalk paint and I'm just giving it one quick coat because you're really not going to see it, just so that way you didn't see any of the wood. And I'm going all over it. I paint half of it, let it dry, and then I flip it over and paint the rest of it. Now I'm giving it a generous coat of Mod Podge and I'm just rubbing it right onto the wood. And then I do a little bit on the back side of the calendar paper. And I'm just going to lay it down 
smooth it out with my fingers. Now this is the one I want for my coffee bar. This is Happy Harvest and I think it's super cute. I use my roller just to get out all the air bubbles, make it nice and smooth. And then I have all these other sides. So I figured why not use other seasons? So every season I can just flip it over, right? Makes sense. And this is super cute. I just love it so much. And I'm just counting how many sides I have because I, at some point, I don't know. I don't know why I thought I had more sides, but I cut out a lot of calendar pieces and I just thought this was so cute. And of course, I cannot wait to decorate my coffee bar for Christmas and Valentine's Day and Easter. And so I made sure that I represented all my favorite holidays which is pretty much every holiday, but I made sure that I picked all my favorites and I put them onto this block and I just love this so much. Actually, I'm not sure what kind of coffee bar I would do for 4th of July, but I will figure it out. Believe me, I will. And this is just so sweet. You guys know these calendars are adorable and hard to find. So if you got them, good for you. And now I'm just going through and doing a nice heavy dose of Mod Podge on the top to seal it all in and how adorable is this this is so sweet like I just love this I can't wait till my next holiday and I can just roll the block over I just think it is genius and adorable let me know down in the comments what you think so this is super easy guys but adorable so this is another Dollar Tree item. So this is a Dollar Tree cutting board and the Dollar Tree fall tool. And it's like a see-through tool and it's gold and silver. I'm definitely gonna use the silver for Christmas time, but for right now we're doing maple. So I did use the gold side. So this is just a big dose of Mod Podge. I wasn't sure if this was gonna come out, but it did. So I just laid this tool down right on top of it. I smoothed it out. I was a little nervous it was gonna get stuck and then I wasn't sure if the glue was gonna go through the little holes, but it really seemed okay. I mean, it didn't have, I really didn't have any issues with this. So then I just smoothed it all out really good. I smoothed the edges and I wrap it underneath and I do that to both sides. I thought about adding little feet to this and then I thought, no, I can always add it later. So now I'm just going to hot glue the tool to the bottom of this and I do cut off the excess just in case I do add feet, you don't see any fabric hanging. But you can see all that. So this is just me smoothing out and I'm going to now check on this side. It is good. And we're just gonna do another coat of Mod Podge. I didn't wait for any Mod Podge to dry. I just did one coat laid down the fabric, did another coat of Mod Podge. And that's it guys. Super quick, super easy, super cute. And I did go over and do another coat of my dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Not like it's going in the dishwasher, just so that way I can wipe it off and know that the water is not gonna ruin this. Now this was again, super quick. Not really my style, but it went with my theme. I am not too much of a country person. I'm definitely more cottage, but I thought this was cute. So these scarecrows are from the Dollar Tree and I cut them down to fit onto my canister lids. These are for my coffee and my tea and I just hot glued them to the lids. I did use a little piece of wood that I had just to secure it on one of them. And how adorable is this? For me not having too much of a country flair, I am kind of crushing on these. I really love these. I think they're so sweet. I'm so excited that I have my coffee bar now and I can't wait to decorate for every season. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I hope you're inspired to take a space in your kitchen or in your dining room and make a little coffee bar and you don't have to go overboard. It just add little touches and I think it will be adorable. I'm hoping you got a lot of inspiration from this video and I'm looking forward to more videos coming up. I do have a lot coming up, so I want you guys to make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. I am having surgery coming up, so my videos might be a little shorter or maybe a little less frequent, 
but we will get there guys. Christmas is coming. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up. I have more open challenges and some clothes collabs coming up. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook as Freckled Mom. I also have an Amazon store as well as buymeacoffee.com. So stay tuned and I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and a wonderful day whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you guys soon. So don't forget, check out my co-host, check out the playlist and get inspired, get motivated, have fun and I'll see you guys soon.